we're good. So I'm here with Aaron. How are we doing today, Aaron? We're doing great. It's been very busy, very good show and good turnout. Yeah. So you're with Bison. How long have you been with Bison? Um, this May 5th, I'll be there 11 years. Woo, 11 years. Career girl, that's what I like to see. And you're out of Winnipeg? Yes, I originally started out of Winnipeg. I did work out of Mississauga for a few years, and then I transitioned back in 2015, and I've been still there in the same position as a driver services and recruiter, and then recently just transitioned into the supervisor of our driver uh, recruitment team. Okay. Yeah. So I've, I've, I've known Bison for years. I drove for 25 years, and I've been in this industry way too long. I'm old. See the gray hairs? So, uh, so, but I, you guys have always been a top-notch company, no matter who, what industry I've been in, or what association. So, who are you looking for today? You, you're, we're at Road Today's Truck Show here in Toronto. Are you looking just for Mississauga drivers? Because you guys have terminals all across the country. No, we're looking for everywhere. Like drivers at these trucking shows, just because it's here in Ontario does not mean they're just from Ontario. They could be across the provinces, across Canada here. So we are I'm advertising for all opportunities. If someone asks, they are out of another province, I can uh, speak to that as well. Um, everybody today seems to be out of here though. Um, looking for either a new driver getting into the industry. They just got out of school. So we have opportunities for that as well. Uh, we have a training program that helps them and guides them into the industry, gives them that professional training and skills they need to be that that driver that we're looking for today um, and then we have our experienced driver positions Canada US long haul short haul Canada only for owner operators as well so we do have a wide opportunity for them here and I'm always telling people when they're looking at the industry or looking at a carrier to look at the culture of a carrier and you guys have what we call in the industry million milers you have one two three I, I know I follow you guys on Facebook and Twitter it just gets crazy so you have a lot of them which shows you're a really good company because people are, are uh, you know, can have long career and safe driving. So talk about the finishing program a little bit. You mentioned it already. A new driver comes in, what happens? Do they have to have their license already? Yeah, with the driver finishing program, they do need to come to us with their full AZ or class one license. And then once they've done that, and they are needing to be able to go to the United States, but we do have that program where we're training them, mentoring them and coaching them from week one to week 13 before they start operating independently by themselves. And it just touches different aspects of in yard work, city work, short haul work to the borders and getting comfortable with the US. Then it goes into that long haul aspect to get them prepared for the career and the lifestyle that they're getting into. And then they get approved to independently operate by themselves and continue on as a Canada US long haul driver. Um, they do that for a two year commitment in our program. Um, it is a big investment from our part. So we do look for that from them as well. And uh, that's another big thing I always push too is when you're looking into this industry, you know, you can love driving because you drive a car, but you need to really look at the other aspect. It's not anything like the same with a truck and trailer. Um, and it's not a career, it is a lifestyle. So you do need to make sure you've done your investing of training and research as well as for the company not just the industry of who you're looking to get support from because um, at the end of the day yes we have a in-depth program but it's only to ensure that the drivers are getting the support and training they need to be out on the road with all other drivers that we have out there providing that service to our customers and just to our consumers like ourselves buying our products from the stores because without our drivers we would not be able to do that. Now, a lot of companies have their own triangle. So if you're with an East Coast carrier, you're, you might go Toronto, Moncton to the States back, West Coast would be Winnipeg, whatever. You guys are all across the country in the U.S. So, what do we, do we just drive no anywhere, or how does this work when we come out? It is still somewhat broken up in the different terminals, obviously, and the region. So, like our Alberta, BC teams, a lot of times they're dealing with the western, west coast, um, and we, even if they're long haul drivers, they could come all the way over to the Midwest U.S. if they're on a reefer division, because then they're dealing with that refrigerated freight that brings them all the way over this way. Could have them out up to 14 days. Um, out of the central location at our head office, we have. Canada US long haul, they're going into Midwest US, coming up to GTA, back into the US, back home. Um, Canada only gives them across Canada opportunities for our teams. Um, out of the east, we have a lot of opportunity for long haul going into the US, short haul to give them that opportunity. Um, we have some Canada only. So across the whole company, we have a very wide uh, variety of opportunities that's going to determine what suits the driver. If they're looking to be out longer, we can support it. Shorter, if you want to meet a minimum expectation of mileage or surpass it, we have the freight that's going to support that person to increase their earning opportunity with us. So is there a minimum for how long someone needs to be out? Because that's a big deal with truck drive. You know, especially when you say stuff like 14 days, they're all getting, right now they're all starting to shake and that's, so is there a minimum? I know when I used to run, I didn't really want to be gone more than seven, eight days. I was willing to be back every week. 
not every carrier can do that. So is there a minimum for buyers? Yeah, we do have opportunities. Like, we, like I said, we have the 14 dayers for the ones that want to do that. Right. We're not saying you have to do that. You could be out seven days. You can be back in five days. Right. You could do a short haul opportunity out of Ontario right now where it's a five to six day work week. Right. But you go from here, uh, Mississauga, into the U.S., you're home by your second day in Ontario. You take your 10 hours off. You go back into the U.S. So you're not gone for a week at a time. You're actually touch, touching point back home. But you could have that aspect of being home sooner or you can choose to be out longer. It's based on what the person's looking for. And uh, the main question we do in recruiting is when somebody asks, hey, what do you have available? We always ask, what are you looking for? What's your days out? So that we can kind of look what we can accommodate with their interest. We've got we've got we've got Sergeant Kerry Schmidt taking pictures in the background. Thanks, Kerry. So okay, yeah. Um, so you guys also have things like dedicated equipment. You are very technology advanced. <laughs> Did I if I said that correctly? Uh, so people will get their own truck and stuff when they come. Out? Yes, you would be dedicated to your own unit if you're looking for a long haul assigned option. We do have some drivers that look like, no, I'm fine, slip seating, doesn't matter. We have different opportunities. So we do have the assigned option. It's the Volvos and Freightliners that make up our fleet all within the last couple years, like the last year or two. Um, they are automatics. They are equipped with the APU unit. They have the additional uh, power inverter to plug in the additional items they may need for their living capabilities on the road. Um, their fridge is equipped in there as well. Um, but yeah, all the unit is up to date with the technology. Um, we work very closely with the dealers as well, with our trucking companies, our, our trucking companies, sorry, but like Freightliner and Volvo and that, like because we deal with those types of trucks. Um, and they're always looking at new innovative ways to help the technologies to just provide a better life and support for our drivers on the road, not making it as difficult as it used to be, um, giving them the proper technology to just keep moving forward with the way everything is moving forward in the, the industry itself and the innovation. That's great. That's great. So uh, if people are coming down today, they can come by and see you guys are here until 5 o'clock. 4.55, they might be leaving early. Uh, and, and then if they want to find out more afterwards, I don't even know if you know this yet, because Bison just signed up on our podcast as a sponsor. So if you want to learn more, go to bisongoldrushlp.com. We've got our own lead pedal uh, thing, so you just got to extend. Anyway, Aaron, thank you so much. I know your voice is almost gone, so I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you very much as well. It was great meeting you, and I look forward to continuing. And see you next week in Expo. Yeah. <laughs>